Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mechanical Mastery. So, quick thing. I know some two episodes. Um, we have a stack limber module, and I was talking about how I don't want this to get filled up with certain things. That's exactly what this is for. We can throw you in there, right? And basically, we can say, hey, limit the amount of things that are allowed to go in here, right? And we can limit that to a stack. We can limit that to a little bit less if we want to, and we might actually want to limit that to a little bit less so these guys don't get over overflowed, but we'll have, like, two stacks of anything at any given time at this point. So, we'll have a stack in here. And we'll stack in here. Uh, that's actually why we have that. So I think. So, so given that's the case, that's fine. We can, we're probably going to end up wanting to doing is we're going to want to make another row of at least uh, redstone furnaces up there because we're not going to be getting too much extra, right? And then we can do a round of EMC links there quickly, right? Where they are all spitting out stuff with probably we well, we don't need a stack limit if they're only going one chest below. But if they're going to here. We want to put a stack limit on it. Whatever the case is. Um, that's how we're going to do it, with stack limiters and stuff like that. So we're going to want to get a few of them, actually. And then from there, we'll be able to actually move on to Chapter 2 without having any rest about Chapter 1. If we want to later, then we can add in pulverizers as an extra step. But for now, I say skip the pulverizers just for, you know, Sandy's sake. We have everything here for the uh, redstone furnaces. So, yes, we're going to fully do a little more on Chapter 1, and then we're going to move on to Chapter 2, because Chapter 2... Does look fun, looks like we're getting into farms and time and bottle and stuff like that, and I can't wait for that. I do want to get actually some better power if that's what this actually is, so yes. I'll be back a little bit. Okay, we're gonna put down you, you, and you there, right? Okay, again, they're gonna start gaining power slowly. We only have one of these guys down here. He's gonna be working overtime. Mostly what I should do is I should give him more coal. And slowly mining coal. Um we have our EMC links there. Okay, so what's gonna happen here is actually can I open you up with that there? No, I can't. Um, I might also switch them over to barrels then. That won't really impact anything realistically performance-wise. Just uh, let me see what's inside of them, because they are in between two machines. So I'll make life just a little bit easier for me to make sure things are working properly. So iron, aluminum, and copper. So cool. Uh, give me give me no, give me that. Okay, cool. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, it's cool. What we can do is we do iron. Oh. Aluminum. Some people say aluminum. It doesn't really matter. Copper. Okay, cool. So, there we go. We got all these down, right? So, these are in power because I basically snaked a power up and around like that. Cool. So, what I need to do is now is I need to put basically auto import and auto export on all of these, right? So the import from the top, output to the bottom. Input from the top, output to the bottom. Input from the top, output to the bottom. Now, I don't know if we can output directly out of these things. If Good, if we can't, we'll have to figure something else out. Okay, cool. So what we want to do is we want to essentially do something like this. Um, we got to get up there, so let's do this. Up there. There, that works, right? Cool. So, we might need to put a, a space in here, but if we don't have to, what we'll do is we'll do EMC link, EMC link, EMC link, right? And export item has not been set. Well, I believe to send an export item, all we need to do is hit it with what we want the export item to be. Might be wrong, though. And this might cripple our power as well, so I believe... Raw iron, outputs, cool. Raw bauxite, cool. Raw copper. Nice. So basically, I put items set to that. I don't know if it only does one at a time. It might only do one. It looks like it's only doing one at a time. And these guys shouldn't be running all the time because these guys gotta be, um... Oh, you know what's happening? They are getting too low on power to run. Which means we already need more sterling dynamos. Whether we want it or not. Although... No, because we're having four of these run at once. We're having at least three of these run at once. Yeah, these 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 guys are never going to be able to run at their full capacity. Although, we might get some more EMC coming here and here in a second, it looks like. Because if that is the case, you're getting that. You're doing aluminum. We were head on iron. So you should actually craft something as soon as the aluminum gets over here. Um. Why it's not being grabbed, I don't know. Oh, because of the stack limiter, probably. I threw a stack limiter in there. And now there's no aluminum gears in there, so it doesn't know that it could be actually on the stack limiter. So I wonder if 
and that runs out again, it won't... That might be an issue. Um, we might need to set like a, a filter on here with the stack limiter because if not, it's going to cause issues. Huh. Well, this is what we wanted, at least. Um, and we're going to run out of power and it's going to become an issue. I also have these running over here, which doesn't help. So trying to get some other resources, so... Yes, but okay. This works at least. It's not exactly what we wanted. Uh, we might. I was thinking about doing stack limiters, but it looks like it's not going to be an issue with this. Uh, we actually might need more dynamos of anything, and we're probably also going to need um, a, a just a low filter. Actually, we have a low filter, don't we? We actually have a few of them, I think. Because I made a few extra of them, thinking, think, not thinking that... um, Not thinking straight, thinking like, ah, we can make this through a module. So, okay, cool. So, no. The items and filter slots are allowed. So we're going to need copper rod... Um, aluminum ingots. Throw you in there. Throw you in there. Want to grab you? Give me, give me, give me. You. And we go down here. Boom, boom. Oh. Allow that. Allow that. Allow that. And if I switch the order of these two, that should keep it whatever. And then boom, these should all be allowed in there now. Nice. That's how we fix things. Although the stack limiter seems to be not working properly-ish now, but maybe it's because... Oh no, because I pulled it out before it saw that there was less than a stack in there, so it shouldn't pull out anymore. Cool, and then these guys are just going to struggle because they're not getting any power. So they actually won't ever run. Which means for now what I can do is I can just turn them on high and they won't run. Yeah, we're struggling for power back. We need more we need more dynamos, <laughs> it looks like. Okay. I'll be back in a little bit, I guess. Okay. Here's a half baked solution. I guess I'm going right now, kind of power wise. So what we could do is we can make another basic mechano, whatever. I kinda overrode my system, grab stuff out of it before it was done. I wanna wanna grab some glass, some redstone, and some invar, so oh, we got actually we don't have glass, surprisingly. Wow. Wowee. We're gonna get some glass quick. I thought we had glass. Don't know why. But I thought we did. So I'm throw, um, that's right, you've been kind of stuck because these guys have to get their power back. And when they're, well, only when this guy's full, will you be able to fully kind of do your job. Um, that's fine though. But what we're going to do is we're going to continue making this. We're going to need redstone and invar. Um, we got that. We need two redstone. Right. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to Turn you on high so you stop running here in a second. Um, are you full? You're full. You're full. All you guys are full. You're full. Are you gonna fill up first or some? For whatever reason, you've decided to fill up first over this. Don't know if the logic is there, but I guess it exists. I don't know. It's because you're trying to constantly do an action. Maybe it's what it is. Well, for whatever reason, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw. This component that we're going to make in there, and that's going to make this all go technically like double the speed. Because it's going to have double the power, or not double the speed, but this basically puts the machines or a dynamo's output up twice of what it is. So, okay, as soon as this is done filling up, then we'll be able to throw our gold, or I guess our sand in here to, to do the thing. So, are you done? Okay, I could probably turn you back on to ignore now, and probably not have any consequences, because you're going to be filled, and you're start gaining. Okay, cool. We need one. Two. Cool, and then what we could do is we could do this. Throw you in there. Right, that goes up there. Which means you're not producing ADR a tick. Which is much more than what we were doing. So I could actually turn you back on to, to run now, instead of ignored. And then you guys will be fine. I could also, what I want to do is I could set you back to... I set something... Ah, uh, that was the one I set to automatically not export. I want to set this one to automatically not export if I want to grab something out of it. And I actually turned these guys off for now as well, too, just to... Ooh, just to keep my life a little bit simpler. I also don't know why the EMC links aren't going right now. 
Like, they should be outputting us still, I think, but... That might just be me and my cookie mind. Okay, so I want to make more of these. Is what it comes down to. That's why I need to get let to start running, because... With it like this, I can't really do much, so yeah. I'm going to get a few more of these. So I can get a few more of these. And we'll have to make, like... I'm going to probably have to make a platform below this, or power or a platform. Maybe I'll go back out more. You'll see when I get back in a second here. Okay. I decided for now, let's make two more of these dynamos, right? Because I'm confident I can get another two. We're down on two iron. Give me one more, please. Any second now. There we go. Uh, we can make two of these because I'm confident that we can get two more of these fairly easily. Uh, we could probably do, do four if we want to do a nice round number, but here's the goal. I'll put you there, you there. I actually am going to use my hammer again. Turn those bad boys around. But the ultimate goal will be move this back here as well. And then have these guys going. And if we have three of them going at, uh, what are you doing right now? 80 or if a tick, that'll be uh, 240. And considering we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 times 20 is not 240. Actually, it might be higher now I'm thinking about it. 11 um, times, no, 11 times 20 is 220. So, it's less. <laughs> um, that's if they're all running at once, and they won't all be running at once, because this won't be running if that's, well, it could be, if we get enough of things going on in the background. So yes, in theory, it could happen. But we're going to hope that doesn't happen like that. So that's, again, a very, very worst-case scenario. Cool, so you might be like, well, how are we going to get power into these guys every moment of the day? That's where another EMC link is going to have to come in. EMC link? In fact, what we're going to want to do is we're actually, we can get these, chuck them in there, and we can grab these out of there before they go. I had turned that off knowing that that was going to happen. I can turn you on knowing that's going to happen. Cool, so now we have these extra two. Uh, you guys, gotta do these guys first. Uh, in bar. Oh, we're out of in bar. Um, but we can craft more. Buy this. And this. Um, if we do 12, we need only... 6. Yeah, it works. And that'll get us... A number of each of these. And then we'll have ourselves... Our glass and stuff on top of that. Glass, and is it redstone? It is redstone. Dang, we're getting low on redstone. We can make another one of these, though. Right. Put you in there. Cool, we get one more of these. Put that in there. Cool, so now these guys are going to be all producing maximum when they are producing. And the next goal is to get that EMC link up and running. So an EMC link, boom. Uh, don't need that or that right now gonna be more in our plates so I need another multi-server just not for this whatever um cool so we can just do this try to grab it before it gets sent over to the thing essentially one come on give me the second one two boom boom okay cool that that was weird. I was like, where that where the like, our light go all of a sudden? Boom. Oak. This did not mean to click off my tab there somehow. Boom. Um, do that. That let's just make a few of these. So we have a few in uh reserves, because EMC links don't seem to be too uncommon of a theme that we're running into. Boom. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, where did they... Oh, yeah, you don't need to be in there. You should probably be in here. Also, I made this to mine them some more uh, coal, because we were running out of coal. And I want to be wasting it uh, directly on my iron pickaxe, because I feel like I keep on doing that. Cool. So an EMC link, we could actually end up just having it spit out wood. Now, the smarter thing to do would be to do this, right? Get a redstone furnace. Right, make another one of you. So what, it's going to be, um... Eight bricks. 
Um, a redstone. We have a redstone inventory, a redstone coil. It's gonna be some copper and some iron. It's gonna be some tin. It's gonna be some cobble. And it's gonna be more iron, right? So we can grab you. Boom. Okay, cool. So let's do this, right? Let's make you. You tin gear. That. Let's do this. Oh, we're missing that one, two redstone furnace. Boom. And yeah, ideally the goal would be to do this, right? Well, we probably want to put you there. I assume we're going to have three of these guys, right? So here's what we'll do. We'll break you to do this. Yeah, we'll put like 11 and you, 11 and you, 11 and you, right? So they're all running now. And I guess we can theoretically, we'll probably end up doing shifting these ones over and get another multi server press in there, one that I can actually use myself. Okay, cool. So what's probably going to happen here is we're going to do a input on the top, output to the side kind of deal. Um, No, we can do an input to the side, output to the top. Then I want to get this to go to all those. So do that, right? And from there, what I want you to output is oak log ah no game. I'm having technical difficulties. Cool. So that gets set into there, right? And then you're gonna basically say, "Yo, there you go." Um. So these are all not gonna be receiving charcoal. And what we could do. To allow this, I'm pretty sure pipes can go on on the top. So I think we can do something like this, right? Come out of there. Um, let me get that my wrench. That's one. There we go. Cool. That that. Right now, if I were to remove this coal from there. And this coal from there. Throw it in there. Okay, so you're not pushing. Why is that? Maybe it's because you need an extract module. A low extract module. Um low filter, low filter. Low extract. Okay, it's gonna need a that that. Any one of those. I need planks. Boom, low extraction module. We can put you there. And then, okay, there we go. So it's just a sidedness issue. Cool, and that's all going to go in there. Because this guy's just going to keep on getting wood. And as long as it's getting wood, it'll, oh, keep you in there. As long as it's getting wood, it'll allow uh, this to be smelted up, and we have an infinite loop going on now. And we're actually maxed out on what we're uh, doing in RF with this kind of pattern, because we actually are hitting the 240 every tick. So, yeah, but we do have a power loop now, which is nice. It's a very good thing that we have that. Did it just start raining? Yeah, we're going to sleep through that one. Not going to deal with that. Hmm... <clears throat> Now we are running into an issue where, well, I could turn these guys. Okay, I guess that doesn't clean that. Um, I could turn you guys back on to ignored, so you guys can just run that. Cause we do have the power for you guys now for sure. Now you are running into an issue. I don't know why we are. That sometimes with how the stacking works on this, it will um. So we get the finish right, particularly in the aluminum ones. I've been seeing this right. And it doesn't pull, although the iron one does get pulled. Which confuses me. So, is there something about... Okay, so for some reason, you had an extraction module and you lost it. That's weird, okay. This is fine. We can... I don't know how you lost your extraction module. Maybe I just never gave it to you and I thought I did. 
but I don't know where it would have went. So, I don't know. Make myself one of those. One of those. What are you going to need? Okay, so I need a pipe. It's going to need that. It's going to need that. Boom. Extraction module. Low extraction. We can put you on there. Yeah, I don't know where it went, but who cares? Okay, now it's working fine. Prop perfectly fine. And that's going to be getting us an export items off and set. That's fine. We don't want you to actually export anything. We just want you to kind of to work. In theory, what we could do also is we could kind of move these down right on top of these now because we don't really need to really worry about the, uh, the buffer in the center here. In fact, it's probably better to do that. So we really don't want to worry about the buffer in the center there. Because the buffer is... We don't really want to buffer, I think. Although, if we have drawers, we could put a drawer there with a the flint downgrade. Although, we don't have a lot of flint, but... Um... Because it won't be bad to have just iron ingots or copper ingots or aluminum ingots right on grabbing. But... Hmm... I might just move these down quickly off camera because... Realistically, we don't need that there anymore. That was just when we were kind of doing the semi-auto. Yeah, and then this is... This is going fine. I'm okay with this, yes. You're doing good. I am, I'm happy with how this is turning out right now, yeah. Let's maybe convert... Actually, I didn't even need you for guys for a while. So let's do that. Yeah, let's... We're gonna remodel this slightly. I'm also gonna make another multi-servo press. One need to kind of borrow from my setup so i'd like to keep my leave my setup alone from here on out because it works and i don't want to you know mess it up by trying to touch it so that can be done that can be done so these are going to get shifted over one that's going to get shifted down one so they're right above this all right throw another multi-servo press in where this induction smelter is in here be right back when all that's done and then we can figure out what we want to do with chapter two today if anything okay so as i was kind of like filling this up a second ago this got really close to well, to really cool. I moved some stuff around. I'm going to up you to gold so you have a little bit more storage in you. And what I could do, since we're not using all this anymore, is kind of do something like that. And then kind of just reduce you back down to a normal slab. And then, boom. There we go. So now this is, this is a little bit more compacted. That's down there in case we ever need that. Next to all our other ones. Um, So we're going to start looking into what we need. Because this is this is complete, right? So this is something we're not, we don't really have to worry about. Although it's that they all go into this, which kind of worries me a little bit. But well, mechanism is also a ways off. So okay, what we want to work, what we want to look into is what we're going to need for some of these things. So time in a bottle looks like it's going to be an easier one in this chapter. So we should definitely go look into that. So okay, so we got some gold, right? So diamond. Boom, boom. It's no secret that I think a time in a bundle only needs two diamonds, right? Yeah, cool. So it's not a secret. We're going to do that. Okay, cool. Um, going to need glass for a glass bottle. Cool. We're only going to need one glass bottle, so we'll throw the other two back up in there. Um, going to need lappies. So probably should do this. I'm not going to need a stack of it because we're probably not going to need a stack of it as it stands right now. What we will do is we'll take maybe a um, few blocks worth of it. I'm pretty sure you can mine that with stone, so we're going to do that with stone. Cool. And we're just missing a little bit of redstone and gold. Uh, that make a clock. And make ourselves a actual time in a bottle. Boom. Like, oh yeah, these guys don't go in there, so boom. And this guy will just kind of slowly build up in our inventory over time and allow us to take accelerate things. It's very helpful, but again, we probably don't don't want to use it just in case we have we'll hold off on using it until we have to. Um, thanks for the experience. I'm starting to wonder if we should turn on that conflict panel because we're going to lose all our experience if we die. Okay, so this is saying, oh well, I guess we kind of so okay. This is saying like that, right? Basically, if you want to continue your path. To a new animation, you need, you, need, you need to create new machines and new allies to help you. Well, I, I've already done this one. I'm not realizing that there was a quest for it, so. There we go. Boom, we got another one. We can put on whatever we want to. Hold on to that for now. 
that's a, a score right there. It's gonna say Magna Crucible. Can look like cobblestone to Netherrack. Ooh, uh, and look like Netherrack cost uh, less RF and is therefore faster. So it's saying that we can perhaps turn that into lava. I don't see what the point of turning something into lava is right now. We'll do that in a little bit, of course. Uh, Lapidary Dynamo. The Lapidary Dynamo ha has a special purpose in this mod pack. Accepts mechanical essences and outputs large amounts of RF. Oh, mm, so it's not taking in gemstones. But that's fine, because we might want to just end up converting this into, from RF to, um, lapidation at the end. Because that's, like, going to be chump change. Okay, we should definitely look into that. Infinite steak, what are you going to cost us? Not much. Um, it's going to need just a little bit of invar. Looks like so. Oh. Okay, for some reason I gave us that quest just now. What was that for? Oh, okay, apparently I needed Invar. Wow! Thanks for that, bud. I think we need that for a lot of stuff earlier. Okay, cool. And is that bronze? That is bronze, I believe. No, it's bronze. Okay, cool. I was gonna, like, let's just check. Um, do we not have tin? Well, good, good easy way to get tin. Take a stack of it. And say, hey, bud, do that for me, please. And we'll throw you before that. And when this goes through, we'll grab that. Give me a tin, bud. Okay, there we go. Oh, appetite. Yeah, I forgot. We're gonna have to figure out how to deal with that. For now, we can just kind of, like, let it happen. But in the future, we're gonna want to figure that out for sure. Oh, tin came out already. Induction smelter, that, that. Okay, cool. You were for... the infinite steak. There we go. We're gonna need wheat. Um... But we can do wheat really easily because of the, uh... The crop dusting or whatever it is. Boom. Okay, cool. We get you. We could chuck you up in there, but that gives us this quest reward for more bronze. Nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so infinite steak is going to be an easy one because infinite steak requires transmutation tablet, which can be stone, invar, and a transmutation table. So it's going to be that plus stone. Plus our invar, which is going to be that. We probably want to get a second one of those, not going to lie. But we don't know how to make a table right now. Um, how do we make a table? I imagine it's probably made super easy in this mod pack. Um, I'm also going to see the table. Oh, there it is. Um, it's going to be a crafting table. Sheets. Well, we can do this. Um... And we'll do this. Because I kind of want to have... At me on certain points in time, I kind of want to have... This dude, right? We're just going to need that dude. So, you're going to need... Actually, we're going to need a lot of stone then, too. Here's something we can do just temporarily. We can chuck you back down while that stuff's running. We can get... Just a little bit of coal. Like, one, two, three, four. Right? And then just do this. Right? And just have you... I should probably should have it face this way at this point, because we're on this side more often. Give me cobblestone, please. Okay, I don't need all of that. I only need about half of that. I can let you go. If I don't want you done quickly, I could do boop, boop. And get some of you out of there faster, but I won't speed you up too, too much. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need uh, four more. You need to be in bar plates. You, I could throw in there. Uh, you, I kind of am forced to at least do that to it. And then I don't think I have to do it that way, but so I got the first one. So, and that's what stone, smooth stone. Give me a smooth stone, please. And we can do this. Boom. Okay, cool, that's good. Give me that. And we got a second one of these. We're not going to use both of these for that thing, but that's fine. Um, so do we get dirt in any renewable fashion? We do, okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do dirt. We're going to do stick. Okay, we, uh, we got to do stone out of there, not stick. Here's what we're going to do, right? And we have seeds in there, I would assume, right? We have hemp seeds. How do we get wheat seeds, then? 
wheat is how do we get seeds milling milling tall grass or wheat do we have bones okay we can get we can get wheat seeds easily then okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab two sticks we're gonna have to get seeds the vanilla way I guess boom so basically we do that break all that and we got seeds so we got you 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 yep okay cool so here's where I do right sleep off the night because <laughs> I don't want to deal with rain here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go over here basically it's gonna do this that and do you not work on seeds okay you don't work on seeds that's fine. The other option is literally just bone meal because why not? Okay. So, yeah, I thought it was gonna work with the without that, but it's fine. Okay, cool. Now what we could do is we could do infinite steak, right? Which means this bread's kind of not really useful anymore. I could throw you in there. I could probably throw you in there too if I want to. Don't really need that pickaxe anymore. And now I can access all that from there. If I'm hungry ever, I can just eat the infinite steak. Cost 64. So it's going to cost 64 EMC for me to eat food. I mean, I'm okay with that. And yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so you're going to get backed up. You're backed up. So the goal is for ultimately for these guys to back up. I don't think they ever will because this is going to be kind of really, you know good but that's fine so this is all going that's all gonna go nice so i'm in a pretty happy state with where we are in this we got a little bit of chapter two done a little, a little bit early chapter two but we can probably either go up into create which we're in a lot of space for create or out into this other thermal stuff um considering how things loop back around i think that doesn't look mandatory that doesn't look mandatory in fact this looks like it comes from stuff that comes from create which means we can't make that yet which means that we should probably definitely do the create stuff next which can take up a lot of space which means i need to build a bigger platform so maybe it's about time i switch my platform over to cobblestone i'm not quite sure whatever the case is i will see you guys next time and uh next time we'll be doing create i guess so until then guys like comment subscribe i will see you guys later and peace